According to an article from WOSU.com, a 2018 explosion at a fracking site in Belmont County near the Ohio-West Virginia border forced residents within a one-mile radius to evacuate their homes for several weeks. This became one of the largest methane leaks ever recorded in the United States. Fire Chief Tom Nelms says he knew the methane leak was a big deal, but at the time, no one really understood the magnitude of it. So how did this happen, and more importantly, what is fracking? In basic terms, fracking is a process of injecting high-pressure liquids into solid rock or earth in order to extract resources such as oil and gas. Since 1947, 2.5 million jobs have been performed worldwide to mine these resources and have proven to be a commercially successful method of acquiring them. Sounds great, right? Well, it wouldn't be so big of a process if it didn't come with a few major caveats. Printing green is one thing, but endangering the environment is a whole other ballgame. It's been scientifically proven that fracking can cause explosions or even earthquakes in unstable areas. Fracking can also have long-lasting consequences that might not reveal themselves for many years. According to FrackCheckWV.net, 250 billion gallons of water have been utilized for fracking since 2005. Due to fissures in the ground or leaks in tubing, fracking has distributed toxic waste and pollution into the environment. So what can we do about it? Unfortunately, RealClearEnergy.com has estimated that a fracking ban would, well, frack up the economy, resulting in a loss of $7 trillion. For now, our only option is to alter the methods in which we frack. This includes using recycled water as opposed to fresh water, finding alternatives to diesel fuel in order to power equipment, or we don't have to use water at all and can search for an alternative liquid. Then again, water is a universal solvent, so finding a replacement may take a while. But until we find an alternate to fracking altogether, the only way to reduce the harmful effects of fracking is to change the process itself. For more information on the subject, visit the American Petroleum Institute or api.org. Thanks for watching.